What's up guys? Welcome to the John Kim Show. Today, we're gonna be cooking this beautiful porterhouse steak. Porterhouse steak is New York strip on one side and filet mignon on the other, split by the tea. The filet mignon, the tenderloin, is a very tender meat, hence tenderloin. And it's very expensive. So whenever I go buy a porterhouse, I make sure that this filet is big when I pick the steak. Pro tip. This left side, I love the New York strip. It's got a little texture to it, juicy, but not as soft as the tenderloin. So here are some tips on how to cook a bomb steak. Number one, don't let anybody else tell you differently because they don't know what they're talking about. Uh-uh. Best steaks are cooked on the grill. If you don't have a grill, next best thing may be cast iron and then a frying pan. You get a good sear, but you just don't get that complete taste of the fire mixed in with the flavor. So, the way I cook it, my favorite way, is charcoal with a little bit of wood mixed in. That's the best way, in my opinion. And guys, my opinions are mostly right. Rule number one, take the steak out of your fridge for at least an hour. You want the steak to be at room temperature when you put it on the grill. Number two, you wanna put some olive oil, all over it and then cracked pepper. You don't want to put salt before you cook it. If you put salt before you cook it, it draws out the moisture and you ruin the juiciness of the steak. Now, another, probably the most important thing that most people cannot do because they're impatient, and they're probably bad at investing if they're impatient, like all good things in life, whether it's investing, learning a skill, patience is a virtue. You have to make sure that you rest the steak for about five minutes. You say, why John? Whenever you're cooking the steak, the muscles are contracted. When you take it off the fire, off the heat, and you let it rest, the muscle relaxes and lets go of the juice. If you cut it before the five minutes of resting, then the juice after you cut will flow into your plate, into your cutting board. But if you're patient enough to wait five minutes, then the juice will stay inside of the steak and every bite that you put into your grill will be juicier than ever. So, I told you the rules. make it happen. I'm gonna go get the charcoal started and then we're gonna cook this bad boy. This is how it looks now. I'll see you when I see it. Evenly, just like that. This is how I get my fire started in my own little personal grill that is not that big. Let's go. Mm. 